So hello and welcome back to Gumhadi's Coins and Banknotes. Today we're talking about Pakistani coins. Just showing you a few. So these are all my spares. I was just going to put them on eBay today. So just thought I'd make a video before I do that. So Pakistan uh, started issuing coins in 1948. So here we have a 1948 quarter rupee. This one's probably in very fine condition. I wouldn't grade it more than that. And... Uh, the quarter rupee had a high mintage but there is a caveat this has the crescent moon okay so i think my camera's dying so this has the crescent moon facing right these are the common coins if you want uh, one of these scarcer coins you need the crescent moon facing left so it is pointed that way and these two coins i have here are pretty much all the same although this one's in high grade Probably EF to almost uncirculate, does have some scratches. It's quite a nice coin from 1951. And well, that is the last year they issued these quarter rupees in 1951. But there seems to have been enough in circulation that they didn't issue any until 1963. So they did decimalize in 1961. So these coins circulated after decimalization for 25 pesa. And the first coins they did issue for decimalization, only one, five, and 10. So they issued the one, five, and 10 for decimalization, and they used the quarter, half, and one rupee. Actually, the one rupee, pretty much. It was a alignment coin, so they would just be, would have used a banknote. Uh, for decimalization and then they issued the ever coins later on so 1964 they issued the uh, two pesa and then we have the ever denominations so i'm talking about the 25 the 50 pesa in 1963 and well this one rupee was issued in uh, 1979 so between 1949 and 79 they really just use the banknote so we do have some information so this is just quick information about the exchange rate so this is to the US dollar so 1950 is about 3.3 to 1 US dollar and we have the US inflation rate so about 1 US dollar in 1950 is $31 now so really $1 now could buy 10 pesa so that if i can get that one out so this coin here was equivalent to one dollar now in purchasing power and that's yeah probably the same size as what one dollar should be worth you know design now and then we have ever information so the current values are 286 rupees it was one us dollar and here we have the exchange rate through different periods. So the period we're talking about is pretty much to the 90s when it was 21.7 rupees to one US dollar. If you take divided by the exchange rate, so pretty much one dollar now brought 5.8 rupees of goods back then. And then we have some other information. So here we have all that I've looked at for the alignment coins. So the average mintage for Indian coins, oh, not Indian, Pakistani coins, depended on the denomination. So the one pesa is like, I don't know, 40, 50 million. The 50 would have been probably around 10 to 20 million. So you have some information here. The 50 pesa seems to have the low mint coins. But then we have uh, other denominations that have low mint as well. So where's the most lowest mint? That would be do, 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 do. yeah. Here you go. Twenty five pesos, nine seventy three, one point nine million. So that's probably the key date. Although I wouldn't, it wouldn't be classed as a rare or scarce coin. It should be pretty common. But it depends on the survival rate. So we have the one pesa here. So these coins were initially 
issued with, uh, I think it's Persian and Bengali. So that would be East to West Bengal. But I think it might be just Urdu and Bengali. So a form of Hindi. Oh, better not say that, they get angry. And Bengali, which is uh, now Bangladesh. And on the back, we have the same thing. And it just says Government of Pakistan. And here we have an error coin. So this is probably die cracks. No, die cracks in the actual coin itself. And it's on both sides. But it's also probably partly corrosion. So that I need to look up. So these... I've only ever seen these on aluminium coins, so it's got something to do with the aluminium. And so the issue that we have here, the one pacer, was first issued in uh, for this series 1964. So the earlier series have the uh, Eastern Arabic numerals. This is the Western Arabic numerals. And then they issued the aluminium coin in 1967. But they still issued nickel, brass, and bronze coins up until 1969. And then in 1974, because of the independence of Bangladesh, uh, they took Bengali off the coins. So they just issued them. Oh, yeah, I'd say that's Urdu, which is the national language of Pakistan. So 1974. And is this one 1974? And the one peso was only issued up until 1979. And then we have the two paces, also quite nice. Same series, Bengali and Urdu. And then the just have a Togra. So the Togra is just a stylized version of writing. It's the same government of Pakistan. And it has a crescent and star of Islam, which represents Pakistan, which is also on a flag. And then we have this coin, and, and these are scallop shape, which makes them quite nice. They did issue a round coin in 1966 to 68, but you know, it doesn't look as nice. Uh, so this coin here was issued between 1968 and 74. And then in 74, they changed this series, which is the larger one. And you can see I said 74. So in 74, they minted these two coins at the same date. Although I don't have the 274s here. But I do have this one in 74. And I think that's the Independence Monument. I need to look that up. Could be just like a... Uh, uh, what is they call Outside the mosque? Anyway, doesn't matter. And these ones are probably worth more in bronze than they are in face value. Then went to 5. So initially they issued it with the sailboat and that, this is the same design as used in 1961 with the Eastern Arabic numerals. Uh, so this one started issuing 1964 to 74 and 74 to 96 they issued aluminium coins. And I changed it from the sailboat to I think this is a cane, sugar cane. Uh, quite a nice coin. And they should all be minted in Lahore. And it looks like that aluminium bronze one is a double mint. Need to look that up. And on the back, so 1974 and 96. So the later issues from 93 to 96 are not as common. There seems to be not much information about these coins. So I'll speed up. So then we have the 10 paces. So here we have the one, the Arab, Eastern Arabic, and this is Western Arabic. And yes, the Arabs did invent both of these systems. So, so 1961, turn it upside down, 1961. So that's very interesting. So pretty common coin, high mint, government of Pakistan. Obviously they took the English off uh, in... So they took the English off in 1964. That's another thing I didn't say. And they replaced the English with uh, Bengali. So that's quite interesting. So I have information. Yeah, 60. So what date is this one? Okay, 1964. Yeah, seems to be a common date. Then we have an aluminium coins of the same design. 
1973, yeah, 6.45 million. So this is a one of the lower mints for Pakistan. So aluminium ones, they just changed the weight in that, but they kept the design the same. And 74, 4.78 million. So this seems to be one of the lowest minted coins. Um, probably get higher values than these ones in uh, Pakistan. But oh, I don't know. I don't know the Pakistan market. And here we have uh, 79. Yeah, that's a high mint coin. So really just a junk lot. And the last one we have is 1987. Yes, yeah, seems to also be a high mint common coin. And as you can see, they're not really... This one has a nice design on the reverse. And then we have the 25 paces. So the quarter rupees from 1948 to 51. Yeah, these had the same value. And these are all being demonetized. I think they're demonetized in 2017. So here we have the two issues. So I don't have the first issue. This is the 1967 to 74. This one is the 1975 to 81. Okay, here's the dates. So pretty common. And then in 1981, they issued both of these issues. Uh, but obviously one's a reduced size. And the... Small size 1981, so it's lowest amount for the small coin, 5.6 million. And as I said before, the 1973 of this date is the one you want to get because it is a small date, key date. And these were in circulation to the 90s, probably up until 2000. So there's 25, looks quite nice. Don't know what all the design. Then we have the 50 paces. So these ones seem to have started small, gotten a bit big, and then they reduced the size again. And once again, you know, 1967 to 74 for the first, second coin. I don't have the first coin. And what's the mintage? So these ones seem to be pretty low mint for Pakistani coins. So this one, 8.2 million. This one, 9.1 million. Then we have the commemorative coin, commemorating Jindar. This had a 5.6 million. You should still be able to pick it up for five bucks. So, for a five million mint per coin uh, in Pakistan, seems to be the cheapest. 79. So, this is the series that was issued in 1974, 75, should I say. So they're with the 50 paces, there is no double issue for 1974. And then in 1981, they issued these coins. Is it 1981? Dude, dementia. Yeah, 80 to 96. And then in 96, they just got rid of all the pacer coins that were in circulation. So they just started to issue, okay, in 1979 to 1 rupee. And this has been a coin ever since. Uh, you know, not really very exciting for that one. Then in 98, they issued new coins just in the rupee series. So we have the one, and these are in bronze. And in 2006, uh, was it 2006 or 2008? They changed these one and two rupees to aluminium. And these are currently worth about half a cent. Yeah, 2007, they changed to aluminium. And this one has uh, a mausoleum, and on the back we have Jinnah again. It's quite a nice design of him. So they probably tried to put too much information in this coin, even for its size. Then we have the two rupees issued in uh, 98, but the, they do have a 98 and 99 without the uh, clouds. They're the key dates. This one is a lamination problem. So this one will be an error coin. On the back, nothing. And here's a five rupees issue between 2002 and 2006. So, and then they issued a banknote. And then in 2015, they issued a coin again with the same design. Although smaller 
made of brass. This is copper and nickel. So that's pretty much for Pakistani coins. And currently, I would say they probably only use the 5 and 10 rupees, which is about 2.5 and 5 cents each. Uh, because Pakistan is close to being a bankrupt country. Anyway, hope this helps you with your coins. Have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time. And take care. Thank you and goodbye.